one of my subscribers had asked me why do celebrities sell their souls and I'm going to personally make like this little mini series for you guys listing the different reasons why they happen to sell their souls now I'm not sure if you guys know about the genies but some call them the Muslim religion the jinns these genies and these gens can grant you three different wishes. Okay. Three different wishes. Anything that you desire. So say if you said, I want a life full of wealth, money, prosperity. They'll be able to grant you that. You say, I want to be able to rap better than everybody in the rap game. You know. They'll be able to grant you that. You say, I want gold. Whatever it is that you're whatever it is that you're seeking, whatever it is that your heart is desiring, the genies will be able to grant you it. Now, some of those celebrities, you guys, they sell these souls for talents. Okay? I know this is going to catch some of y'all off guard. You'll be like, how can they sell these souls for talents? I'm going to tie this into a movie named Space Jam that came out a couple years back with the one and only Michael Jordan. And that movie Space Jam, it showed you how these little entities came from another galaxy. They were able to body snatch the human beings, gave them all kinds of crazy capabilities, you know, on the NBA ball court. How many of you remember the movie Space Jam? It was demonic, but they put it in cartoon form. This is the same thing that happens with these celebrities. They get body snatched. They sell their souls. A demon begins to inhabit their body because it's all about energy for the demonic, the demonic, you know, being. They take over this person's body. They give them the ability to act. You see, they call this channeling. Act, sing, dance, rap. Doesn't matter what it is that you're trying to do. The demonic entity will be to grant you the ability to do it to perfection. Now you guys got to understand that demons were once entertainers for the Most High God of Israel. If they were able to successfully entertain the Most High, the King, what makes you think he's not going to be able to entertain us as little humans? These, these demonic entities, they got fallen stars. Okay? And they are the stars that we see in Hollywood. You know, there was a video that came out a few, a few years back speaking about how Michael Jackson's moonwalk dance was a move that the demons do. That's why you ever hear backsliding in the, you know, in the Bible. That I think that's, that's something that they do to mock the most high. They make dances like, oh, I'm backsliding. You know, demons do everything evil, but they put a comic a comedic twist on it. You know what I'm saying? They'll make comedy out of something that's abominable. You feel me? You guys try to figure out why there would never be another little wing. You know? Because I told myself, even though the man wrecked about dark stuff, this person's ability to put metaphors and stuff like that together was insane, you know? But you guys got to understand that demons were here since the beginning of time. They have mastered all the languages. They've mastered all the dances. You feel me? That's why they say nothing new under the sun. Because the same beings that were here in the beginning are still here now. In the end days. You feel me? The demons were there in the beginning. Just as us humans were there in the beginning. But you see, the difference between us and the demons is they got to jump from generation to generation to be able to learn everything, you know? And now they perfected it in this generation. This is why most of the world is deceived by these fallen angels, you know? Most of the world is deceived by these fallen angels because they just don't know what they're looking at on those screens. You guys seen that video when Little Wing was at the VMA Awards? 
and his eyes started turning yellow. He had the little Jagan's pants on with the zebra print on them. But I remember in that in that um performance, his eyes began to morph into like a yellowish form, like a reptilian's. That's what happens to those celebrities, you guys. I'm going to break it down for you, step by step. First, you may have somebody that was sold into the Illuminati. Because some of these people are sold into it, you guys. You feel me? They're birthed into demonic families. The families put them up for auction. You know? They put all kinds of demonic rituals on them. Sex magic. This is how they summon them up is through the pentagram. The pentagram is like a portal for hell. You know? That star, I don't know if you guys seen in the Hellraiser movies where it shows like the, the little portals illuminating and stuff like that. That's what happens when they put these children in the middle of those pentagrams. You know, and they perform sex magic, bestiality, spirit cooking. You know what I'm saying? Cannibalism, all kinds of weird shit that, that, that goes against the most high. A demonic entity gets summoned. You feel me? And it inhabits that person's body. You know? Now this person has the ability to be an excellent entertainer. You know? Because I, I, I say it time and time again. The, the, the devil was the god of music up in heaven. He was an entertainer. And best believe the different angels that he took with him had different talents too. You know? They weren't just singers. You had some of them that knew how to rap. Because they were they were meant to read the Most High's word. And stuff like that. They all had different abilities. Spiritual abilities to offer. You feel me? These people be selling their souls for talents. Some of y'all think that it's all about money. But the talent is going to make you the money. You know? And this is why they cloned them over time. They give themselves over to demons. Right? They give themselves over to demons. The demonic entity grants them the power to be a great entertainer for a little while. But you guys should know that when a demonic entity is inside of your body, your body, your vessel is not made for demons. It's made for the, the spirit of the Most High to dwell within you. You can't take a double C battery and put it in a remote with a triple A battery. You can't do that. You know? It's not going to work. It's not compatible. You feel me? So, that's what happens with these demons. For a little while, they may they may jump in and out of this person's body. You know, because this is how it starts off. This is how the relationship with the demon forms. They make a contract. They make a pact with the demon in exchange for energy. When the demon jumps in that person's body and they're at crowds and people are projecting all that energy off on them, the demon is getting that praise. You know, the demonic entity that's inside of that person's body is getting the praise. You feel me? And once it, once the once the concert's over, they jump out. You know? They already got the energy that they was looking for. You know? But the demon slowly for surely begins to bind themselves to the person. You know? They begin to become one with the person. You know? So over time, the demon is not going to want to jump in and out you know the demon's gonna want to stay you all day you know and due to the fact that you're not protected by the most high god of israel the demon will set up a, a major event in your life you may suddenly end up in a car accident you may suddenly end up shot up outside of a concert you feel me you may even have one of your best friends turn on you but because you're not protected by the Most High, these scenarios can manifest, you know? Now you're dead, and now they have all kinds of blood samples and stuff like that from you to create a clone. And now the demon gets to be you all day, you know? And they get to get fed energy all day through the lives. This is why we have shit like live. Oh, such and such goes to the mall to buy. I don't give a fuck about little baby going to a fucking pizza shop. I can go to a fucking pizza shop, you know? But you got, oh, little baby goes to pizza shop, drops a thousand dollars. So the fuck what? Why do I care? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, little Wayne goes to Icebox, gets chains for him and the whole crew. So the fuck what? So what? Who cares? 
It's all about energy, though. These demons got to be fed energy all day, every day. Before, it used to be just be something that you watch one day out of the week. You feel me? A couple days out of the week, you could watch TV. Now you got live, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. These celebrities are popping up on all these platforms because it's a demonic entity that needs to be fed energy everywhere around the board. You know? They sell these souls for talents. I ain't gonna make this video right here too long, you guys. Because it's a it's something that came to my mind. You know, I was reading about the gens and the genies. And I was tying the pieces of the puzzle together. I said, this is why these celebrities make pecs with these demons. It's for spiritual talent. You know, it's for talent. You guys drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you think about this video. I'm going to be making more videos addressing this topic right here. But it's something that came to my mind. Why do these celebrities sell these souls? It's for talent. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you think about this. This is Electrifying Vibrations. Shalom.